this is Del Eagler here with one healthy member, Architest Snows. I don't think, I'm not sure if this text is randomized or not, because it's a Fire Emblem 8 randomizer, but every time I started this game up for this recording, it's always ended up as that. And I'm so excited to be playing this game once again, because it has been about like a year or so, and I have not picked up this game, because I think I got frustrated on some sort of level. Let's actually check out what happened last time I played this game real quick. Turning Traitor, yeah, we've seen the story, but what, what kind of randomized units did we have? I don't know, Skeleton Ephraim, but the one thing I remember, no matter what, is this Seth I got. I think his... <laughs> oh, man. I think his stats got cut in half from what his base stats normally are. He's level 2, but I actually checked. He started out with 7 strength instead of, like, 14 with what, his, what he normally is. But that's just the fun of this, and that's why I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get started with the new game. Let's see here. Uh, of course, you want it on difficult. I believe um, this menu here... Yeah, see, it's all pretty um, fine and dandy, but I'm curious if the percent variation is to the enemy's growth rates, like in some other standard randomizers, or if it's just to the stats of the character's growth rates. But I'm pretty sure it's the latter. Oh man, this is definitely a great randomizer that came out with. It's very convenient, of course, but I always um, I have fond memories of making many uh, randomized patches over and over, like, just because I thought it was a lot of fun, but, um, see, the only thing you want to change here is definitely set the map music setting to normal, because if you set it to randomized, um, it, the music basically just alternates for, like, five seconds every time, and it's just awful, you definitely don't want that to happen. Let's see, whoops, oh, okay, I pressed, I pressed the right button on there, it's my controller. Oh, there we go, it, I was pressing up and down, I guess they don't, um, let you overwrite old files, but team name... Um, uh, I, I was gonna put STD, but I think that'd be stupid. I'm not gonna make that dumb joke. Okay, and I'm just gonna make a safe state in case something crashes or whatnot. All right, the continent of Magville. That's pretty neat. Yeah, uh, no matter how many times I play this Fire Emblem 8 randomizer, just seeing uh, random monsters appear in castles so casually always is kind of gross, but. Even worse it is that our main lord Erica has decided to be a pupil, and I don't know if this means like she's like a super pupil or whatever that in this game works. I mean, I know the class exists like super like axe guy, like I don't know what oh journeyman, like that class over there, but like just how this promotion stuff works. Like, oh my god, no, you gotta. That's that. that was okay. That was undeniably that was Seth as a journeyman, which um would. Nope, okay, never mind, he's not that anymore. General Sen. Franz. Yes. Oh my god, this is much better. Much better than a, a like a Erica Lord Seth. Princess Erica? Yep. Does that mean I don't get an axe? You there. Okay. Oh, right, right off the bat, our personal skills are letting Seth heal, heal up, so definitely... Oh, right. You can check growth rates in this. Okay, let's just take a quick glance at our lords here. Steel Axe and Talisman. That's very nice. I guess that's free money. Or actually, no, she probably is a Talisman. But here's Erica. You know, uh, 7 Strength and 7 Speed. I actually haven't played this um, Game Boy Advance... Uh... Whoa. What? What did, what did that, what that random... <laughs> what? Okay. Um... I'll, I'll talk about this in a sec, but I'm just going to leave that be. Uh, meanwhile, hope our boss here is not even half as threatening as this guy. Okay. Actually, just take a quick, quick glance. Yep. Okay. Oh my god, a lot is going on here at once. Um, here's Erica, our lord here, as a mount mounted unit with 10 con and I think some pretty decent stats. High defense or whatnot. Uh, I checked the description for this one. Um, Steel Axe come. Oh, jeez. Doesn't mean she's gonna be able to hit these guys. Uh, 50 hit, with weapon triangle advantage. Uh, no matter what, Erica is just gonna be uh, disadvantaged, isn't she, until I get her a better weapon, huh? But her growth rates are also pretty good. High speed, and, uh, you know, you know, whatever. Better than, like, 30 strength that she normally has as a growth rate. Not that it really matters, because whatever is an Erica working with And then Seth, looking much better than how I showed you guys before. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Class skills. Charm. Yep. Okay. Just a typical Lord skill that you would see at any Fire Emblem game increases the stats of characters around him. And here's Seth, a lot. No, only 25 hit points for Erica. Actually, no, it's pretty good. Actually, no, it's only one hit point higher than Erica. Alright, whatever, I'm not gonna question that. I guess Seth maybe needed to tone down from these amazing stats he has 16 strength, 15 speed, and also all this other stuff that's also really high. His growth rates are also pretty good. 
patience so you can throw him in the middle of fray even better now. Of course, 15 crit. What is this? Seal skill. I'm not sure how that's going to do on someone that's going to kill everyone, but hey. Too long. Oh. Well, RNG doesn't really matter if no one's going to hit you anyway. Oh. Well, I do like to use the speed up button normally when I play this game, but I'll hold back from doing that because I think I'm, gonna, I'm using that often, won't I? Hmm. Oh man, being able to move keeps like this. And I'm not very patient, just please go. Thank you, sir. You ever look at the muscle of the Berserker right there in that sprite? Maybe you'll, you'll probably get another glance at it or you can pause at it, but it is freaky. I've always thought it's a freak, and no one seems to point it out, like, like, I mean, yeah, this, um, this horseman sprite has been updated a bit, um, the de developers of Fire Emblem guys, uh, been able to make better sprites as time went on, that Berserker sprite from FE6, they still use the same one, they don't update the older game sprites, so Cavalier is still kind of choppy with their animations, I'll show you later on, but, I just wish they, I just wish they fixed that freaking, that ugly Berserker arm. Like, I get it, like, pixels, whatever. It's kind of hard to make it look and stuff, but jeez, please. I don't want to be wasting this too much, because either way, it is a 1 2 ranged weapon, so it can retaliate against anybody. And I imagine this revenant will be going towards Erica instead of Seth. Especially in the peak with 40 avoid. Man. Gosh. I mean, I guess. I guess Seth, whether he has high mobility or not, whatnot, being able to throw him in peaks is just as cool, I think. I don't know, I actually don't use Berserkers very often. How long is it going to be before this boss decides to chase us? Like, I don't know, he says he wants to catch us or something here in Area Steam. I believe in one more turn. And here is first, Erica's first hit, finally. Man, if, um, chances are, at least an Iron Axe or the, oh wait, I was going to say a Hatchet, but chances are the character who comes with a Hatchet won't have one anymore. I'm really just banking on Iron Axes, the lower tier items that come with something decent, please. Ah, speed this up. Um, if you don't like if I speed it up, then do, do just tell me and I'll gladly stop doing that. All that's left is their leader. Finally decided to. I don't know. I really thought he chased you. I guess if I get this force and that works with me, with more coin flipping, you will be the first to die. Oh man, look at that revenant. Normally zombie colored, he actually looks like a human. Oh my god. That's actually kind of freaky, if I'm gonna be honest. But I, pretty cool, actually, that we got to see that. Even after so many times I've randomized all of the Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem games, I haven't seen Revenant like that. I suppose, yes, Revenant's only coming in Fire Emblem 8, but yes, I've randomized this game a lot, too. It's kind of freaking me out slightly. Come on, Erica, I know you can do it. 1% uh, crit? Nah, just kidding. It's not actually a 1% crit, it's just um, they, whenever they kill a boss, they always do that little I believe as an addition to this uh, pack kind of just happens automatically. Eh? Oh, that's a really great level. Thank you. Of course, I'm curious as to how, to, uh, how to promotions work in this game. But I think I can still manually promote Erica, unlike when you have to do it like, as by a cutscene. Or maybe not. Do the items promote monster units? Lots of questions that we'll be finding out here. And whatever the heck these guys are talking about, who cares? Alright, I think as a prologue goes, um, I'm going to smack my lips once. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, let's see that again. Uh, wait. Whoa! Okay, that. <laughs> I don't know, I even managed to do that. Okay, so I'll make a safety save state here after I save. I believe 8 minutes is kind of short. Let's go to. Um, maybe after we beat chapter 1 here. However long it goes to, you guys will already know the time. I don't know. I want to see a scripted cutscene, whatever this screen unit's gonna be. Um, I think um, what ran what uh, Game Boy Advance uh, ROM packs with uh, skills added in, they like to have these that green unit right there, the one on the right, not the freaky guy on the left. They have they give them this skill called Nice Thighs, which makes this whole thing even more tragic. <laughs> Uh, if I was ever wrong pack this game, I would probably have a, a lot of fun, quote unquote, with those freaking like, scripted cutscenes. And of course, a lot of wrong hacks like to throw them in just because they're cool. I don't know. They're not that good. Yeah, you don't need those. Check out.
out these weapons. Iron Sword, 99 hit. Great. Lances. Axes are still just gonna suck, aren't they? Even these random monster weapons just have... God, God. Even bows are better than axes right now. And just kidding. At least axes can be at one range. Throw uh, Erica onto a forest because she can. And let be curious to see if they would still go for Seth. I mean, I'm pretty sure Erica would still be able to tank these hits. Yep, eight defense is pretty good. I'm, I'm certain of it, actually. Would you even know who your own men are if you were to question who Erica is? Do you know who this skeleton man is? Did you even get his resume? Or that eyeball over there? Why are you asking such stupid questions? And also, I just thought of something bad for this cutscene. Sir Gilliam, is that Lewin? Oh, are you gonna make that same thing? Franz, you're gonna ask who's who in this, all with all these freaks around here? I'll, here? I'm gonna tell you what I'm worried about now. The thing about randomizers is that um, you saw it maybe in the menu. Okay, chances are you didn't see it, but they have an option called Thieves at Fixed, which means that every whatever unit normally comes as a thief in this game, um, let's see, they always come as a thief because thieves are kind of mandatory to pick chests. But something else that's mandatory are healers. Um, I'll talk about that more later, but here we got Gilliam and Franz. Take a look at Franz first. He's still a cavalier, but he's a cavalier with counter, which I think is really cool because counter and the Zan weapons are with a good stat. I don't know, lowish might, but counter is good because every time someone hits Franz, he's gonna, they're going to take damage back, and that's a very, like, not a skill you see often, but quite good. Ooh, and discipline with doubles weapon experience, and that's just amazing. That's, that has broken on its own ever since I've, I've seen it in Awakening. I don't know if it's appeared in other games prior, I doubt it, because of how good it is. One, one luck, though, so chances are we're going to see Franz die before he even uses that counter. And if he's dead, you can't use counter. Also, uh, I mean, whatever. 30, okay, actually, no, 35% speed growth. That's not, that's not going to last. Because luck growth is just as bad. Franz is going to die before I can even get a level 10. Gilliam here. Uh, also, like, really low base speed. Hat, Franz is base speed. He's like, reminding me of... You know who from FE7, but oh, he even has a lower growth than Bartray from FE7 with his low speed of three. I guess um, it's been a while since I've seen Noel from the base FE8 game, but he seems I think he's just as bad. Although 60% defense growth doesn't matter, the base speed of two and three speed. <laughs> what? Come on, I gave like a 30% variance in stats and growth rates. Why? Why are you ended up? Why have you ended up like this guy? Roger, though. That's always good. Uh, 16 weight. Jeez Louise. And 4 cons, so yeah. Speed. Speed, everyone. Speaking of weapon weight, I should probably check that out. Um, I don't know how much con Ferenc normally has, but he's not weighed but too, um, too much by his weapons. Uh, only... Let's see. Yeah. Seth has 13. Uh, oh, actually, so 14 weight with 13 con. Seth actually has slowed down. I didn't notice that in the last chapter, but now I've noticed it. I really have to hope I don't get Gilliam killed right now. I'm not going to do an Iron Man run like I did in my FE6 run. <laughs> oh, man, I'm still kind of mad about that. I mean, geez, such cool things really happen. But I won't, I won't keep referring to that playthrough. Let's just get this chapter done, I think, before I make some weird error. Let's get this guy with Seth, because I don't want to put Franz in range of the, that eyeball and whatever that other, uh, stuttering. It's like a, jeez, what are they called? Uh, let's take a good look. This is who I'm referring to. Uh, Gargoyle, okay. Yeah, no, Franz probably isn't sturdy enough. But, I mean, I don't know. I forget what his original Cavalier stats are. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I, Gilliam is left in range. Uh, this guy, uh, this guy is going to double just automatically. How much damage did he do? Nine? No. No, Gilliam's I was worried he was going to die on like, the first turn he showed up. That would have been pretty great. Not for me. Oh, right. What, why did I do that? Mm. Alright, I'm not going to... I'm going to stop speeding up so much. I think it's going to become unnecessary. Although, I suppose... No, I should put friends over here. Because, uh, oh, does get, get a little bit. I don't want to put him in range of his eyeball because he does magic damage. And, yeah, one resistance. I just don't want to do that right now. Maybe later. Come on, show me what you... Yeah, I don't know. You know, I said that again, like I was gonna win. Again. I, I, I'm not trying... I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm, I'm just... What, what am I doing? Who cares? Who cares? Oh, oh, oh that's right. Uh, Franz 
Dusty. I guess he did. I did. I guess he did. Class change. Also, that was a. Jeez. You got me. You got me, friends. All right. Yeah, happy. Gosh. Oh, I'm one range away from killing the stupid eyeball that I'll get. Get him soon. Still contemplating how much I should use this to one hunt, but. At least Gillian has a half decent hit rate.
facts in my next chapter, I'll definitely win, because I've, I've memorized some levels at that point. Uh, I'll seize this game, but let's take a couple of shots at these enemies just for the experience that I have uh, not really gained anyway. Eh, eh. Come on. Can I even get a kill without killing them? Really? I'm not gonna use. Yes, I can. That, that is, and relying on low percentage hits once again. All my 80s and 70s that I complain about, this is what I get. 50s and 60s and all this other crap. But I'm still not looking back at Fire Hero. That's a story for another day. Hey, there's an 86% hit chance. That's pretty nice. Hopefully I get some more sword users and lances once like friends, or at least if I get some lances, because friends can use lances, I just don't have any. Bad luck with the randomizer, but enough of that, because enough of this chapter, I'm, I'm tired of this. Now, yeah, I don't think a single level I've been tired. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Princess Tamina. Sir Julian. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to improvise a stupid story. Let's just, um... Let's instead have a nice, awkward outro where I'd say thank you for watching with uh, this part one of Fire Emblem 8 ra a uh, Randomizer, and I hope to see you in the next part, because it, thank you, uh, yeah, see, I told you it was going to be awkward.